Welcome to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata and I'm here to give you yet another first impressions review. This time I'm having a look at a game that is rather unusual. This isn't the game by the way, this is the pause menu. And it goes by the name of Continue 987654321. I'll just call it, call it Continue for the sake of brevity more than anything. It was developed by and published by, should I say, Jason Oda who very kindly gave us a review key so big thank you to him and is currently £5.59 on Steam as it is currently 20% off normally it's £6.99 so not exactly a expensive title now Jason did recommend that I play this for about half hour before beginning my review and I did actually do that but I restarted as you can do that because well I wasn't doing too well and I basically was on the verge of death and I didn't think that was a good place to start a first impressions review because I'll probably have to start again anyway so it's a very unusual game and the unusualness just comes out of a very orifice really um, as you can see it has a rather interesting graphic style um, Pixelate is, isn't really the right word, I feel. It's kind of voxel style, but very, very small voxels, in a way. That's kind of the vibe it gives me. Okay, um, you do need to pay attention to what the people tell you. The game does say that they will give you clues and tell you things that you need to do um, so I don't want to buy a room from sloppy ate me basically and I've just made a note of that just so I don't forget so yes why is this game so weird I hear you ask well not only because of the unusual graphic style but just how the game actually interacts with you basically you play as a video game character I'm just gonna pause it for a second You'll find out why in a minute. He plays a video game character who has died and is now basically just been waiting to be deleted from the random access memory. And you're basically just trying to find your way out before you get deleted forever. So, occasionally monsters will appear, and if they touch you, you kind of have to, you have to fight them off. And occasionally, you'll randomly get teleported to dungeons and stuff like that as well. Right, I'm just writing this down in, in desperation. Because the reason I'm writing this down is because the game said that this symbol to the left of the inn, this arrow, um, the game gives you a little sort of instruction manual thing, and that 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 symbol means that this is a clue. This is important. You want to remember this, basically. In desperation, pawn them. Your television. Okay, hold up. So basically, this part of the game is all about talking to people, hearing what they have to say, and the game will just kind of randomly just suddenly kick into high gear, which is pretty much what happened to me. It took, bit, took me a bit by surprise. See, I don't know what he's selling, because it's saying I can pay 16, but I don't know what I'd be buying from him. So, I don't really know. Ooh, I apparently fell down there. I don't know if I should mean to do that, but... There you go. Oh, hello. You okay there, friend? Return what you've taken, bring an eye. To whore's shrine. Okay. I will do, bro. And there is a reason why they all talk in slightly broken English. It's just obviously because they're all just waiting to be deleted, basically. All sort of forgotten and that sort of thing. Now, what also is a mechanic in the game, apart from weirdly floating guys, is, um, hold on. Nah, I'm good. 
Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Occasionally, you will come across a room or a, um, a building you can go into. Ooh, what's happening? It's probably one of those dungeons I was telling you about. Yes, it definitely is. So you guys pretty much out of nowhere and the room spun. Ah. So I need to be quick, basically. Ow, damage already, that's not good. Need to hurry up for this dude. There we go. Go through. Oh god, that's not good. Ow. Okay, um, this door. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh god, a graveyard, just what I was wanted. Oh, yay, keys. I do not trust those statues, not even slightly. Let's go. Did I win? Hooray! I took some damage though, Jesus. Oh, okay, two rooms I can go into. Oh, hello. Yeah, and after you've had your first dungeon, um, those lo blocks will spawn randomly in the world. If you kill them, nothing really happens, but if they touch you, they sort of teleport you to a sort of little mini, um, sort of, uh, oh, well, you're about to see since they just spawn right behind me as I was talking. As you can see, a side on view, and in this view you can jump, which I shouldn't have done there because, you know, death and all that. And basically you just have to defeat them in this view. Ow. I'm not doing well at all, am I? No, no, no. In all fairness, half an hour isn't really good enough to get good at a game, so I don't think you guys can blame me too much for that. So I've got some money. Alright, let's quickly go in here before I get ambushed again. Alright, this is one of those rooms I was trying to tell you about. Basically, you can choose between lightning and prayer, and <clears throat> Each, each town has areas that are blocked and you could lightning will randomly strike if you choose it obviously um, at the blockades and will destroy it allowing you to pass so that's the that's what lightning is prayer though is a shelter where you can hide and at random point at points throughout the game it doesn't tell you when it just says at a couple of points you will need to hide um, from being deleted basically otherwise you know you can't progress so you need to have shelters so it's basically you, you choose between the two you have obviously you don't know when you're going to need the shelters so it's a tough decision of well you know which one do I choose I doubt it's going to happen on the first level but I don't know I've never played this game before so which one to go for I think I'll go with lightning this time. Forward you go with brave mind. I will, thank you. Right, so one of the blockades has been lifted. I'm not sure which one, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Obviously not that one. Oh, okay, I need to Take care of that immediately. So the controls are pretty basic to say the least. Um, you control either with WASD or the arrow keys and it's space to um, attack or talk. Can I talk to you, bro? You cool? No? Can you buy one beer for me? Uh, sure. Return what you have taken. Bring... So I need to bring a cat to Hobo's Shrine. Bring cat to Hobo's Shrine. Okay. Thank you. Most kind. I can't talk to the ones on the pedestals, apparently. Want to buy Danger Vial? Uh, no, I'm good. I don't know what that is. 
Hey fella, why not have a drink? <laughs> Sorry like that, buy a beer or buy a beer. Uh, they will pollute you. Uh, okay, that wasn't useful, but yeah, you, you don't know unless you try. Uh, hey bro, can I talk to you? No, okay. Alright, so I got one clue and there's a guy with a danger vial in there, what the hell that is, so... Oh, shice! Almost walked right into that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so... Was it... Yeah, this was... Oh, okay, um... Yeah, this was where the thing was. Do I need another lightning to get through? Oh, because I'm confused. Was they not there? I thought it was. Hmm. Confused M is, is confused. That's what I say. Okay, so I need more lightning to get through that. Oh, hello. As we've got a big fella. Um. Do I need that danger vial thing to pass? Is that one of this? Because this was def this is definitely it, but it looks like I need one more, which is kind of sucky. What have you got to say, friend? Bomb him. No, I'm good. Uh. <laughs> Okie dokie then, skip. As you do. Are you are you naked there, friend? Ooh. There we are. Do you need help? Friend. Um. Okay, talk to as many people as you can. That's kind of what I've already been doing, but alright. Whatevs, whatevs. Oh, you want to play, huh? 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 That's what I thought. Mm. So it's just a matter of exploring the level, discovering all the thing, all the people you need, you can talk to, finding the right clues. Um. Mm. Oh no! And of course, surviving these random dungeons, and of course, finding your way out the level. Right, let's see what we got this time, shall we, friends? Uh, oh, what the hell? What the balls do I do here? I just avoid the projectiles? No? Okay, I can't go down, unless I'm going crazy. Can I go right? Oh, there we go, I can fire, alright. Whoa, oh, that was close. <sighs> Living dangerously. Help. Hey, I'm the one who needs help, bro. So as you can see, each encounter is different. Oh no, that is not good. I took damage there. I can't take any more hits like that. Oh, is that good? Did I win? I died? What the hell killed me? Oh. Yeah. 80, 80 money, or get rid of a shelter, or a car park. I don't have any car parts, do I? You do not have? Okay, I don't think so. Uh, um... Mm. Do not have, I have to get rid of a shelter, that's the only thing I've got to give. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell killed me. So yeah, that's what happens when you die. Oh, 
Oh, I see now. You don't just buy one lightning. You buy lightning strikes that will strike randomly. Okay, I see. I'm with you now, game. I'm with you. So this is a very unusual experience, but I really like it so far. It's unique, to say the least. I don't think I've played another game quite like this. Let them... Oh, lightning boxes. Is that a lightning box? Can I break it? Hmm. Interesting. Okie dokie. Glad I spoke to him again. Oh, there's another block friend. It... It is a very unusual game, but I actually really like it. It's obviously had a lot of love and attention just poured into it. And I have a feeling that playing this game all the way through is going to be... A, it's not going to be boring, let's just say that. I definitely think this is a really unique experience. And if you're looking for something a little bit different with whatever twists, then uh, I think you could do a lot worse, especially for the price. Um... Oh shit, I ran straight into that. That wasn't good. Pay a bit more attention to where you're going. That's probably my pro tip for the day. Ow. I do wonder if these little sections get more difficult as you go on. Like the later levels or whatever, there'll be more um, more enemies to fight or whatever. So how the hell would I... See, that looks like a lightning box to me. How do I break it? It doesn't look like I can. Maybe it isn't then. Oh no, that's not fair! Oh, you... I was literally just... Nothing I could have done there. I don't care what you guys say, damn it. I was robbed. Ow! That was my own fault, though. I do love how epically high you can jump. It's amazing. Like, wee! Wee! <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. So it's just a matter of exploration and discovering the world. No, no, no. I remember you. Don't buy a room from you, they said. It's a trap. It's a trap. Ooh. Alright, I have to survive this and hopefully the lightning will strike in a good place so we can actually leave and I can show you guys a little bit more before I wrap up the video. The hell? Okay, I can't jump on this bit, on this level. That doesn't look friendly. Oh no, 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 no. Inquire? Running choir. I am focused on you, player sprite. Eden, what is information request? Uh, who are you? System memory management garbage collection. Go oh god. Um. That was a bit weird. All right, two more doors. Oh, three. Awesome. Let's go in here. Hello. Your pleasure, my pain. I'm going to get a prayer because I lost that one earlier. I want it back. A 
It's not the same one, obviously, but... Ooh, hello. Um, I took more than one hit. Okay, they are getting a bit tougher. I shall drink alone in this rotten place and make friends with the... Oh, I remember this from earlier. They said spiders. Um, mm, I'm gonna go with lightning. Oh, come on! Good friend, I will lift you from the ditches. Should I get another lightning? Because I only need a little bit more and then I can leave. Hmm. Let's go for it. Come on. Come on. Ah. That was rubbish. That was rubbish lightning. I'm ripped off, bro. You should be ashamed of yourself. So, I feel like you guys have gotten a pretty good idea of what Continue is actually like, and I would actually really recommend it. I feel like it's a game that... Um, hang on a second. Tear... Drop... Tattoo... Alright, okay. Um, what was I saying? Yes! I feel like it's a game that, you know, a first impressions review doesn't really do it justice. You have to sit and play it the whole way through and experience it for yourself. Oh. Thanks for that, bro, but I should remember that from earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, I wonder what the keys are actually. Oh, okay. Complete battle being helped once one bonus key. Lose battle, get no keys. One key out of pity. <laughs> mm. <laughs> keys open doors which help you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. There, there, baby. It doesn't matter if you attempt to upgrade or you can't fight, save his own life. Let's get you ducked into Betty Buys. <laughs> Oh no, I'm getting... It's trying to rape me. Get off. Ah! No. So yeah, I heartily recommend... Ow! This title. And um, once I've made these guys my bitch... I will uh, wrap up the video, I think. Ow! Alright, so I had a feeling that this game would be unusual when I saw it on Steam, and well, I was right, but to be honest, I think it's a good kind of unusual. I feel like I, I want to play more of this, and I may do more on this particular game, I'm not really sure, we'll have to see. But either way, I think you guys have gotten a pretty damn good idea of what to continue is about, what it's like, and whether or not it's the game for you. Personally, I think it's very interesting and more than worth the price of admittance. So definitely <clears throat> check it out. Anyway, that is me done for this first impressions review. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.